वेलकम टू वन मेगा वीडियो चैनल सब्सक्राइब द चैनल लाइक द वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी ब्रिटिश रॉयल्स वेयरिंग रूबी ज्वेल्स बर्थ स्टोन ऑफ जुलाई मंथ दिस इज पार्ट वन ऑफ द वीडियो चेक द पार्ट टू इन द एंड Prince Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, gave his wife this yellow gold ruby and diamond brooch in the form of a scarf in the year 1966. It was made by Andrew Grima, known as Britain's first celebrity jeweler, who found fame throughout the 1960s with Bond girl Ulsura Andress among those who wore his designs. Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, was impressed by Grima's revolutionary and modern pieces and awarded him the Duke of Edinburgh Prize for Elegant Design before gifting his wife the brooch. Queen Elizabeth II has worn this piece many times. Times, including here in above picture in a portrait released to mark the couple's platinum anniversary in 2017 Queen Elizabeth II attended a state banquet in Germany on June 24, 2015, wearing some of the most important jewels in the British royal collection. The crown ruby set includes a pair of earrings, a necklace, and a brooch. The suit was designed by Prince Albert for his wife Queen Victoria and originally featured opals, not rubies. Later, Queen Alexandra, believing opals to be bad luck, what are your beliefs on these bad luck stones? Do comment. So she had the suit reset with rubies from Queen Victoria's royal collection. The ruby jewels are probably property of the british crown and were worn by queen elizabeth ii the british monarch was also wearing the girls of great britain and ireland tiara Queen Elizabeth II wears two impressive ruby jewels. Here in above picture, the Orient circlet tiara and the bearing ruby necklace. The Orient circlet tiara was one of four pieces designed by Prince Albert for Queen Victoria, inspired by Indian designs he saw at the Great Exhibition, some of which were later presented to British Queen by the East India Company. When Queen Victoria died, she left the tiara to the British Crown for future queens and queen consorts to wear. Originally featuring opals, Queen Alexandra replaced the stones with red rubies that belong to Queen Victoria because she considered opals to be unlucky as a belief it passed into the royal collection of the queen mother who loved the tiara and wore it frequently right until her death in 2002 even though it technically belonged to Queen Elizabeth II who became monarch in 1952 Queen Elizabeth II wore the tiara here in above picture during an official visit to Malta in 2005 Queen Elizabeth II is also wearing the bearing ruby necklace which she purchased in 1964 to complement with other ruby jewels in her royal collection the necklace features three distinctive pendant rubies surrounded by diamonds the smaller two were likely originally earrings before they were made into this piece The Burmese ruby tiara was crafted from an older headpiece made by Cartier and it is said was gifted to the British Queen from the Nizam of Hyderabad for her royal wedding in 1947. The original piece featured an English rose design with three detachable brooches which the queen continued to wear till her death recently. The rest of the tiara was dismantled to make the Burmese ruby tiara pictured here above in 2008 in Slovenia by Garrard in 1973. The diamonds were set alongside a collection of 96 red rubies presented to the british queen from burma now myanmar on the occasion of her royal wedding the design of the tiara was inspired by the tudor rose with rubies said to offer its wearer a good luck and protection the necklace worn by the queen elizabeth ii in the above picture is the bearing ruby necklace Queen Elizabeth II made headlines for wearing the Burmese ruby tiara for a state banquet in honor of US President Donald Trump's visit to the UK in 2019. Much was said about the Queen Elizabeth II's choice of tiara, with some pointing to Garrard's original description of the tiara, which read, "The 96 rubies are a symbolic gesture as rubies in Burmese culture protect from illness and evil. In this case, to protect the wearer from the 96 diseases that can affect humans. Most likely, the royal tiara was chosen because of its color." red and white feature in the american flag
The royal necklace is from a suit of jewels known as the Qatari rubies, gifted to the British Queen in the mid 1980s by the Amir of Qatar. Queen Elizabeth II is also wearing the matching ruby and diamond earrings set in yellow gold, pictured here above in Turkey in 2008. On the British monarch's head is Queen Alexandra's Kokoshnik tiara. The royal tiara was presented to Queen Alexandra when Princess of Wales for her 25th royal wedding anniversary in the year 1888 by the Ladies of Society 365 Pierces of the United Kingdom. It is based on the traditional Russian headdress called a kokoshnik which became a popular as a style of tiara in Western Europe in the late 19 in the late 19th century. Designed by Garrard, it has become one of Queen Elizabeth II's favorite tiaras and was also loved by her grandmother Queen Mary. King George VI and Queen Elizabeth II bandeau necklace features diamonds and rubies and was made by Boucheron in 1907. It was originally left to Queen Mother by Mrs. Ronny Greville. The piece is sometimes referred to as the Greville ruby necklace. The necklace was gifted to Queen Elizabeth II from her parents on her royal wedding day in 1947. Queen Elizabeth II wears it here in about picture in April 2018 for a banquet during the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting during the British Queen's visit to Australia in 19 34 she wore the piece to state banquet at parliament house the royal necklace is made from silver and gold and features rubies set between diamond flowers On March 9, 2020, Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, showed off a new pair of diamond and ruby drop earrings at the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey. The earrings are by luxury Swiss jeweler Mawad. They appear to be part of a set first worn by Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, aka Kate Middleton, in 2011. The rubies complemented Duchess Catherine's burgundy Catherine Walker coat and Sally Ann Proven hat. The earrings were likely made to match the necklace seen here above in picture in 2011 set in 18 carat white gold. The royal necklace is thought to have been gifted to Duchess Catherine from Prince Charles on her royal wedding day, but there are conflicting reports. The necklace was given to Duchess from a close and very generous friend. To comment your thoughts on this, it's the only time Duchess Catherine has worn the necklace in public. The then Duchess of Cambridge wore the piece for the Sun Military Awards at the Imperial War Museum in London. The diamond and ruby necklace are made by Swiss This brand Mawad, the then Duchess of Cambridge, teamed the necklace with a black velvet Alexander McQueen gown. This is the end of part one of the video. Check the part two over here. Rubies are known for their strong links to passion, romance, and love. They are considered among some of the most expensive of all gemstones. The more intense the red, the higher is the price tag. Rubies are also the birthstone for July and the traditional gift for a 40th anniversary. Priceless rubies form part of many royal collections around the world and are among the most important pieces in the Danish, British, Dutch, and Monegasque royal families. In this video, we have learned more about the spectacular. rubies won by the royal woman share your thoughts on the royal ruby jewelry collection in the british royal family which were among your favorite to comment below and what do you love about the british royal family and what are their known and unknown facts that you are aware about the royal family of britain share your thoughts to comment below like the video and share with your friends and subscribe the channel thank you for watching one mega video channel enjoy your life and have a nice day